Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Jack Leg Act. My name is Mushki, your master Jack Leg. In today's video, I will be demonstrating how to cut in around baseboard. A little backstory is my wife called me today while I was at work and she goes, Hey, I just wanted to let you know I started painting the nursery today. I was like, Sweet, awesome, that's great, thank you. But where is this going? She's like, well, since I'm pregnant, though, I'm not supposed to cut in, or I'm not supposed to be on a ladder, so I need you to cut in around the ceiling when you get home. Now, just so you know, my wife is six, seven months pregnant, and in full-blown nesting mode. Without argument, I said, sounds good, hon. Here I am in the nursery, uh, about to cut in around the ceiling. As you can see behind me, I actually started on this wall. I have another two walls to go. Uh, and yes, I said I'm going to do a technique on the baseboard. It's the same technique up at the ceiling, around door casing, baseboards, uh, wall fixtures, ceiling fixtures if you were to paint a ceiling, anything like that. So let's get started. Okay guys, so first off, uh, a couple little tips. The first thing that I see a lot of people do is when they paint with a paintbrush, they dip it into their bucket up to here rather consistently and they just slosh it all over. Uh, that's just going to make a mess. <laughs> uh, what you really want to do is you just want to dip just the bottom portion here. You can kind of see where it's more of a solid pink purple that I'm painting with. That is about what you want to dip it into your uh, bucket. This was just from where it hits on the bucket, the pail, uh, the wall and stuff. And, uh, so when you're painting, as I said, you just want to do a small dip into the bucket, brush off the excess, and then a lot of times what I see is I see people that have paint on their brush, they just want to take this brush, just like this, and start cutting in the wall, right here down at the baseboard. The problem is that's too much paint. So what you want to do is you want to put it right on the wall above the baseboard. Uh, just keep it where you aren't going to hit the baseboard, but put it on the wall, okay? Kind of above where you're going to be painting or cutting it. So now I'm going to dip again, about the same amount of paint. And again, we do not want to paint right down at the baseboard yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this brush and we're just going to rub it across the top here, okay? So we got a lot of that paint off of the brush. At this point, we want to start actually cutting in down at the baseboard. So what we do is we keep it up high and we just bring that paint down to the baseboard ever so gently and across. And then you can kind of paint up the top, keep moving back. And that is all there is to it. That has been my technique for cutting in when painting. I hope you found some value in it and it helps you with your next painting project. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video and leave me a comment down below. Maybe it's a painting technique or your experience with nesting. I would love to hear it. Until next time, Mushki out.